Let's take a closer look at the new Formula E Generation 3 EVO. Generation 3 provided a good platform for future developments, with less weight, smaller size, a lot more power than Generation 2 and an electric motor at the front axle. So while the rear motor has 350 kW, the front motor has 250, but could only be used for recuperation under braking. So Generation 3 could recuperate with 600 kW on both axles and could accelerate with 350 kW and rear wheel drive. Because of the high recuperation, they got rid of rear brakes, but reintroduced one-use emergency brakes at the rear following crashes at tests. If you want to know more about Formula E Generation 3 cars, check out my other video below. So for the Generation 3 EVO version, the main change was to enable the front electric motor for up to 50 kW in acceleration. The overall output stays at 350 kW, but is now deployed on both axles. So still, regen with 600 kW, acceleration with 350 kW. 50% 50 of the energy during a race are produced through regen. They then updated the bodywork slightly with front end plates, which divert flow around the front wheels better, and little wings instead of spoilers in front of the rear wheels. These changes aimed at reducing drag. Lucky for us is that we could see Wehrlein's car from below. You see the smooth underside of the front wing and huge blocks in front of the front wheels to guide flow around them. We see a floor with a plank which shows you that they mostly touch the ground with the front of the plank. At the floor leading edge we see a raised section for more air underneath the car and hence more downforce. And we see a long diffuser with a small center opening. Because it's all-wheel drive now, Hankook updated their tires for more grip at the front axle. So with a lot more traction out of corners and a bit less drag, they created a car which was only changed slightly, but is up to 3 seconds per lap faster depending on the track. And there is more potential inside these cars. So how do you like the new Formula E Generation 3 EVO? Let me know in the comments below and see you at the next video.